with Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Finals almost upon us. We are so happy to be joined by our very own Michael Farber to talk about possible Conn Smythe Award winners. Michael, can't believe it's that time of the year again. Voting for the MVP of the Hockey Playoffs. As someone who is eligible to vote for this award, has any consensus pick come out yet? Well, there are a couple on each team, and the winning team almost always has the Conn Smythe winner. But again, not always. We saw J.S. Jaguer win it for Anaheim in 03. But you have to think the winning team will get it. Right now, the Blackhawks are in the driver's seat. So you have to look at really two players on the Blackhawks. First, Jonathan Taves. Uh, Taves has done very little in the Stanley Cup final. But remember, Maggie, it is for the playoffs. It's not just for the final. It is for the playoffs. And Taves has been a dominant force throughout. Taves has been great at the face-off circle, but he's not producing offensively. I think the other candidate would be an alternate captain of the Hawks, defenseman Duncan Keith, uh, a Norris Trophy finalist, uh, the best defenseman in the league in my mind. Uh, I think he's really, from the back end, driven the Hawks. And we would have to see what happens in six and possibly seven before deciding between them. Yeah, Michael, if this goes to a game seven and you take the whole body of work of the Philadelphia Flyers, considering the Cinderella run that they've had through this postseason, who emerges as their top candidate for a Conn Smythe Award? Well, unless he has another game like he had in game five, uh, it would be Chris Pronger, to my way of thinking. Uh, Pronger was egregious in Game 5. Uh, he was on the ice for six goals, the seventh goal that the Blackhawks scored. He was in the penalty box. It was one of the worst performances by a big game player you will ever see. But Pronger has been a tower of power on the back end for the Flyers and really dragged them kicking and screaming from a seventh seed into the position they find themselves now. The other candidate, I think, would be Danny Briere. Briere has been brilliant. He's been by far the most dangerous offensive force for the Flyers, chasing Taves for the overall scoring lead. He's a tough guy. It's interesting that we didn't mention one goaltender. Yeah, I mean, the only time you mentioned a goaltender was J.S. Jaguar, who won it back in 2003. Is it possible that Niemi could be a dark horse here? Not to my way of thinking, no. He just hasn't been good enough. He hasn't been a dominant player. Uh, he has been okay at best. Uh, he's made some key saves at times. Uh, he hasn't been great in the final series, uh, but he has not been a dominant force for the Blackhawks. Michael, someone who has maybe emerged as a crowd favorite, Dustin Bufflin, is there any chance that he sneaks in and emerges with the Conn Smythe Award? Not a chance. Bufflin might be a crowd favorite, but I suspect that the dozen or so writers who do vote for the Conn Smythe will not look favorably on Bufflin and his body of work. Well, we know, Michael Farber, you're an eligible voter for that Conn Smythe Award, and we look forward to Game 6. Thank you for joining us. Thanks.